I was going through some tough times in my life and I made some comments to my mom and she got really worried and we ended up going to the hospital. Some people from the crisis center went and evaluated me and I ended up here. Well, when I first got here, I felt really hopeless and I just wanted it to, all, to end. I, it really got close to me that I was going to kill myself. Like, no joke, it was the hardest time in my life. It was like a new lifestyle because, I mean, I actually had to eat, you know, which I wasn't used to anymore. So, it's crazy. <laughs> Just to keep my cool, like to not, I think it was just at that point I was overreacting over everything because I thought everything was happening to me and I just had to learn that that wasn't it and that my family was there to support me. Well, when I left it was scary because I didn't know how it was going to be. I knew I was going out into a world that has a lot of negativity to it. But I knew that if I just kept thinking what I was taught, to always be thinking positive, to not let things, especially little things, get me down, I knew I was going to be fine. Well, if I wouldn't have came to Two Rivers, I'd probably be dead. I know I would be dead. I mean, it kept me safe when I knew I wasn't going to be safe. I, mean, I know when I first got here, I didn't want to be here because, I mean, <laughs> I couldn't do anything that I wanted to. But I mean, it showed me the value of my life. Like, I am important, I and mean, especially, you know, just talking about what I had gone through showed me that I'm important to my family, and I didn't think I was. Right now, I think I'm at a way better point in my life. I mean. Not everything is perfect, but nothing is ever going to be perfect. That's just how life is. I mean, nobody said life was going to be easy, but I know it's just surrounding yourself with the right people and just keeping your head up through everything, you're going to be fine. I mean, yeah, I learned that here. 